So, all right, guys, I'm gonna pretty much I'm gonna walk you through the RTSP setup here, and we will get this guy, you know, rolling on Zone Minder. So let's get into this RTSP for flashing, and that should be about oh, and Zone Minder, and that should be the end of the video. So I'm gonna put my cell phone down right now, and I'm gonna pull out my little roll a deck of uh, SD cards. I can't use it 128, even though it is a 10. I can't use this 32 because this is the right 32, it's a 10. I can't use this one because it's a one. So then you have to go up to the side. I already went, <clears throat> so you're gonna go, I will have a link right here to their webpage where you're gonna go and download this. Um, I will also do a picture in picture or somewhere over here of installing that software on this. You're gonna get the zip file. You're gonna unzip it. You need to rename the file to demo.bin and then you're gonna plug this guy in and don't, you might have to format this, but if you do make sure it's in the root directory and just drop that demo.bin in, in the directory for this card. After you've done that, make sure you do the, the proper remove um, and you're ready to now plug it in the camera. So the first thing you're gonna do is unplug the power. Power's now unplugged. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put it in this little slot here. There's a, it's spring loaded. It is kind of hard to get in there. I just pushed that card in there. So now you need to hold this button while you are plugging it in. And you don't let go till you see a solid blue light in the front. So I'm gonna hold this button. I'm watching the light, watching, the, oh crap, I let go of it. So I'm gonna come back here while holding the setup button and I'm trying to watch the light for you guys. So I'm gonna watch this and we're waiting for it to go solid blue. There we go, one solid blue, you can let off the setup. Now that it has gone solid blue, we are going to allow this to set for three to five minutes. It is gonna take the firmware, the bin off of here and it is gonna load it onto this device. So I'll probably time-lapse this guys right here and I'll get back to you once the firmware's on there. It takes between three to five minutes, so uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back here with the Wave camera. So it did a little dance that you guys didn't see. I'm gonna reproduce it real quick. It's gonna do this, and you're still gonna have to restart the device, so you're gonna have to do the same thing I'm doing. It, once it goes solid blue, it is done doing its, its, uh, its flash. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna unplug it, count about five seconds, four, three, two, one, and you're going to want to plug this guy back in. And it's going to go through its little reboot thing. The light should be orange. Takes about 15, 20 seconds, and it will do its little dance. And then you should be good to go. Um, it should show right back up on your cell phone if you follow how I did it. Now, if you didn't follow how I did it and you flashed it first, you can still go on the app, and it's just doing its little dance. You can still go on the app and sync it up. You just follow the same, you just do things, you know, in reverse to the way I did it. All right, guys, so now that it's done its little dance, we are going to go back to our phone, and we're going to check that we have the RTSP link, and that's going to be um, one of the Waze apps. Open the Waze app, click on your camera, and, of course, you want to make sure that it's still working. Yep, it's still working. So it rebooted, everything went good. You're gonna hit the little cog up in the top right hand corner. And then you're gonna go down to advanced settings. And in advanced settings towards the very, very bottom view over here, there is gonna be an RTSP link. We, I already created one. So what we are gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create it. We're gonna go create and you're gonna, and it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you for a username and password. I would make this secure. I would make sure there's a capital, at least six lower cases, and at least two characters and two numbers. If you don't want to have to do that, at least make sure that there's six characters, a capital, and four numbers at minimum. You're going to come here and hit generate URL. It is going to generate that URL. And then if you guys want to meet me back here, I'm going to go and then we will show you zone minder. Actually, you know what? I got a good idea. I'm going to grab my laptop, I'm going to pull up Zone Minder, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Three, two, one. Okay, so it's going to ask you for your username and password. 
first go ahead and navigate to your zone minder, whatever it is, pull it up in a browser, and then you can follow along with this guide. So the first thing you're going to go to do is open up zone minder, hit console, the moderator in the console, and hit the add button. And we are going to come over to here, and we're going to name phase test wall. You're going to set up for whatever you have set up for your storage. I leave FF and M MPEG on. Your function is going to be whatever you have set up. I got no text, which is pretty much uh, no protection. So that's the settings on here, and you're going to move along. So now you're going to come over to storage, and this is where the RTS key is going to be really handy for. So it's got to be sub character. You're going to do RT as key, colon, storage slash slash storage slash, your username. Again, and then the password, so make sure all this is page sensitive as well. So, and then the IP of him. And then that is pretty much straight. Options, I'm not going to use any. If you're having problems with the camera loading on Zone Minder, you can go from 32 bit to 24 bit. Um, I'm going to keep it at 32 bit for right now. And this is important you have to put 1920 by 1080 in here. If you do not, this camera will not load. Um, orientation, I'm going to leave normal. Um, desensitizing, disable. Now your storage, I now run frame manual from here. You can put whatever you like to this setting. I also do weather to story audio recording and time free. I can check that. Time stamping, I leave default and everything is pretty much the same. The buffer, I do do a little bit, little bit differently. I do three, two, Six, two, no, three, and then two or one. Now, last but not least, you're going to hit the Mix tab. And this is very important because when you have Montage set up in here and you have multiple cameras, if it's just one camera and you're zooming from camera to camera to camera, it's not too bad. But if you want to be able to see them generally, you're going to have to come down here and you're going to have to do default scale. You're either going to have to do three quarter, one half, or one third. Um, I run one half just because it's what I like, but this is where you set this. You also have a default rate, which you can do real, and that's going to take 1080p into zone minor and record it. It's not going to record it at your scale, it's going to record it at this top one. So after you get that done, you're going to come down here and you're going to hit the save button, and that should pop up here should be red for about three to five seconds. And if I did everything correctly, I should click this guy and the camera should come right off. Or if I did everything correctly. Of course, I must have done something wrong. Because it's not coming up. So that's a common mistake is that you made a mistake on him. So I'm going to go back in here, click the IP address, go to source, and I'm going to double check RTSD colon source slash source slash capital S N O W and then colon again G X T zero nine eight seven G X T at one nine two dot one six eight. Oh, I'm missing a T here. And that would be why it's not working. So if something's not working, first check here. Secondly check your resolution. Um, and then if your Wi Fi has a lot of devices it, it should not be working because the bit rate's too high using some in here. If going down to 24 still doesn't go, still doesn't make it work for you, go over to Mix, and you can set the default of real down to one half. Um, if it starts working, it just means that the continuous bandwidth across your network. The fix for that would be go get a cheap 2.4 gigahertz AT and just have your cameras on it or just have your smart devices so, of course, you're going to come down towards the bottom here again, and you're going to hit save. Now the camera just came up, and then again. So, between the app and the actual delay on here, it is a bit different. Um, if you look, see on your hand, it's like a two-second two delay. Um, they could clean that up. And, and you 
don't have handheld parents, I think Judge Wilson is going to have a contented day doing this. Um, and if you want, you can stay or you can be stay at the set, or you can come back and do actual. And this is why I don't do the actual side set to do the theater because now I've done the movie. So bringing it down to one half, I'm not bringing it up. But it's visually really good. If I came down here and, and backed it back out and just made it a flat metal like this, um, that's pretty much uh, Zone Minder and RCSC set up. If you want to get Zone Minder, it is on a ton of different platforms. You can set it up on NASA's, um, you can set it up on Netgear, you can set it up on uh, Synology, you can set it up on Windows. You can, um, so there's a bunch of options. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys see I stuck here. Um, I had to put a bunch of stuff up to cut down on the echo for you guys. So other than that, this is Tech Nitwit, guys. And thank you for watching this uh, video. And uh, this is Tech Nitwit out. Hey, guys, it's Tech Nitwit here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.